Hello, all. This is Jeff Wilkerson, professor of physics at Luther College, adding one more uh, video here to in our series of how to use Kaleidograph. This is largely for the Physics 182 students in the spring of 2022 um, and after that. But if other people are interested in it, then hopefully that will be helpful as well. This is going to be a quick little video where we talk about how to open files in Kaleidograph, files that aren't Kaleidograph files. So this is a quick tip on how I do it. I'm sure there are actually other ways to do this and maybe ways that work better, but this is the way that I like to get data in relatively quickly. And what you see in front of you there is a file that I have, uh, this is from our star data that we take. And you see that there are different columns of numbers here uh, written out by our software. It's a text file, uh, a .txt. And you see there's a, a little bit, it gives us a little bit of header information up at the top. And then there are columns of data with identifiers for those columns of data. And so what I'm going to show you is a real quick and dirty way to get this into Kaleidograph. You see what it looks like here. I don't know, to be honest with you, I could go back and figure it out, but I don't know what the delimiters are here. I don't know if there's where there are spaces and where there are tabs and how this thing plays out. And I'm sure I could figure it out, but often I don't want to take the time to do that. I just want to get this data read in there. And so what I'll do is I will... Um, I will read this in. Uh, what you'll see is the way that I typically read this in is I don't, um, it doesn't work well for the titles because there's often different spacing. You see how, for whatever reason, I, again, I don't know why uh, any, of, any of this is the way that it is, but for whatever reason, there's a different delimiter here for the data than there is for the header of the column. And I, I could probably go back and fix that. Um, but again, we, we, we just don't worry about it very much. Um, you see that there's a number. We number our stars. You see how we measured the median. It's uh, signal value. It's not really flux, but we measured the median signal value on that night. And this is a uh, normalization factor that we used uh, for that star uh, in a night-to-night -night normalized fashion to, to, to bring it up to our standard. And then this is the, uh, we use color, in, color index values to do this normalization. This is what we measured the color index value to be. This is what we use for the color index value. Some stars that we don't have a measured color index value, we make a guess and use it out here. Here's why those columns are different. Not that you need to know that, but you'll see that for the vast majority of the stars, we know the colors and we might be doing a study later on where we want this column to be identically equal to this column and we throw out the stars where they aren't equal to one another, for example. So that's probably more information than you need when this is just about opening a file like this in Kaleidograph. But what I've done here is give you a good long time to look at this file and see what it looks like. I'm going to stop sharing my screen with you for just a moment, and then I'm going to start sharing again and show you uh, my Kaleidograph. I just do this one window at a time so we don't get any kind of funky business uh, going on. And so I'm going to share with you uh, my Kaleidograph screen now. Uh, so this is what Kaleidograph looks like for me. I've got it opened up and I'm going to open that file we just looked at. And so I'm going to go over here and I'm going to say open. And there's the file right there that we just had open and we're looking at it and I'm going to open it up right here. Now, if we knew uh, whether there were tabs and spaces or, 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 co or, or commas or something else that was delimiting the columns, uh, then we could go in and uh, fix that. Uh, but we don't know that. And so I'm going to come down here and I'm going to use this format. I'm going to put a W in first and then a string of V's, the number of columns that I want it to read. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, for example. I don't think we have seven columns of data, but always no, there's no harm in reading in more columns than you have data. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. If those two numbers don't match each other, it will yell at you and tell you. Um, and so I'm going to say special down here. And I'm going to say I want greater than or equal to one of whatever it is that is, is, is delimiting the data. Uh, and, and so uh, we can go in and we can look to the, look and see what these W's and these V's means, go into the Kaleidograph uh, help manual, which those of you who are in Physics 182 will find on the KT site. And you can find out how, more details about how to do this. But this almost always works, what we're doing here right now. So don't worry about it uh, too much. And so we're reading the titles. We wouldn't have to read the titles. As you see, they're not going to read correctly. 
Um, and so we could just skip that by de deselecting reading the titles. But we want to skip that line because we don't want that header information. And that's a null line. So we skip that too. There's the title line. So now we're reading one line of titles. We said we skipped two lines. We're reading one line of titles and then our data. And we're reading however many we said there, five or six or seven these uh, uh, columns. Let's say, okay, and see what happens. Boom, there it is. Okay, and you see where the problem came in. Uh, our star number is here. And then our normalized median flux is here. Our normalized median signal is here. There's our normalization factor. Uh, and there's our, our measured R minus I and the R minus I that we used that was used to do the calculation of the normalization factor. So what I would do at this point is fix those headers. You know, if, if I had a whole bunch of columns, then I probably would 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 take the time to make sure I was doing this right. But this way, I'm just going to say, you know, that's star number. So I'm just going to go in and fix it. Uh, that was, um, if I could type, I would fix it. Uh, and I would say this is median signal. And this is normal norm factor. And this is measured. R minus I, and this is R minus I used. Okay, I could have copied. I could have gone over to the open file that we had. Uh, you see, we imported two more columns than we needed, uh, and then we actually had data in. So had we counted them out and said, oh, we have one, two, three, four, five uh, columns of data, it would have just read those five in. Uh, but as, as it is, um, oh, look at that. It doesn't want me to get rid of that. There we go. I just put a space in there to get rid of that so it doesn't doesn't look like we have anything in there of course i could just go in and delete those columns uh say you know i don't uh i don't like this so i want to delete a column here there you go um and so there you go that's it that's importing the data uh it might be helpful if you're using text data or excel data uh csv data or something like that that you have uh, saved on the desktop or saved someplace else, you can import it this way. And hopefully that's helpful. Hope that you might be able to use that a few times in the near future to get some data files in where you want to look at them. Have a good day, everyone. Uh, we'll have more for you some other time. Thank you.